your girl, Ms. Deanie, and I'm hosting this segment of LA Gospel Beats. And I want to say thank you. So listen, yes, it's me. Call someone up. Text them because you do have time. Instagram them. Let them know that we are on sharing Jesus. And again, I want to say thanks for tuning in, okay? Um, today, uh, show caught me by surprise <laughs> because I, um, you know, thought being that it was the end of the year, last time that we were going to do this later on. But you know what, being that it is my last show for this year, 2015, I decided to reflect a little bit. And I hope that's all right with you guys, because normally I have a guest. My guest you can not see at this time, but he's very present, and that's the Holy Ghost. Amen? So I just want to say thank you again, and you may wonder, well, what is Miss Deanie going to talk about now? Well, we know that at this time of the year, many hearts are heavy laden. Many eyes are so worn out, they can't even cry anymore because of the loss of a loved one, in death, in divorce, a separation from that person. But I'm here to let you know that it's going to be all right. That is, if you allow Jesus to fix it for you. I've been there. Many years I've uh, kept myself there because I felt if I would have moved on that I would have forgotten all about her. My sister and I, we both felt that way. I'm speaking about our mother who we lost years ago, two days before Christmas Eve. Imagine the feeling for those of you who have lost a mother, a loved one. But through the years, God has continued to massage my heart, our hearts, and we've allowed him to do so. That's the difference. Many of us say, oh, the Lord will fix it. I know the Lord is going to fix it. Oh, I know it takes time and this and that. But I'm here to let you know that the Lord can only fix it if we allow him to fix it. All right? So I want to let you know that some people say, well, I'm not in Christ like I want to be. Well, are you in him? That's the most important thing. Do you have him living in you? Not as a bystander that you only call on him when you need him. He doesn't want to be an outsider. He wants to be on the inside of us. And that's where the scripture comes in. And it does, it's a process. Remember that scripture, we're speaking about Romans 10 and 9, where we must confess with our mouths the Lord Jesus believe it in our hearts that he raised Jesus Christ from the dead, then we shall be saved. Now, we must work at feeding our spirit man. Understand that. If you want to find happiness, it's all in Jesus. So as I look back over, I can only tell you about me. As much as I love my husband, my own children, my grandchildren, I could tell you a little bit about them, but I can't tell you all about them. But I can only speak about me. And reflecting back over the, the years and over this course of LA Gospel Beats, God has been good to me. I started off as a host, well really as a guest with Reverend Wayne Landry. And then it turned to me host, co-hosting the show. And then here I am hosting the show. Not some things, but all things are possible through Jesus Christ. But you must believe. You must be in him. Now we have God's grace. We spoke about that during the year. Thank God for his grace. There's favor with God. I'm not even going to try to explain it. All I know that I have it. And I'm grateful to God that I do. Because I am here on this show. But I want to let you all know, those of you who are serving Christ, let's remember we can't tell someone um, that we love them or for them to tell someone else that they love them when they really don't. If they don't know what love is, love is Jesus Christ. We must 
let Jesus shine through us so someone can know, yeah, they really have it. I want some of that. Can I get started on it? And yes, you can with Jesus Christ. And that's what LA Gospel Beats is all about. Many times I've had musicians on. Recently, I did have a pastor on, Pastor Ernest Williams, New Beginnings Primitive Baptist Church in Kaplan. And we we uh, talked to a beat of a different drum. It wasn't about the music, but it was still the beat of God. About what is not right, do we step up as Christians? I say we should. I also say that by me being on LA Gospel Beats, it has taught me a lot. It has taught me that this is not just a talk show. This is my life. Representing Jesus Christ through the waves. Why I say the waves? Because it's not just television. We're on internet. And I want to thank Don for that. You know, God is so good. So hold on to your dream. All right? In Jesus. And now with the dreams, let's wake up. Can I say that? Let us wake up because this is something, now this is a dream that I never, I never dreamt of, but apparently the Lord had it in store for me. You see, he knows the plans that he has for us. He knows, that's what his word says. He, you know, in his word in Genesis, he spoke to Abraham and uh, he told Abraham that he would make him the father of nations. Isn't that something? And don't you know that Abraham didn't do everything right? Abraham told a lie. He said Sarah was his sister. I'm sure he repented because the Lord still kept his promise and blessed him. His name is being spoken forever, the father of nations. So just think, and my son and I, Blaze and I, we were speaking. I heard him speaking about that last night. Just think about it, y'all. If we are faithful to Jesus Christ, won't he do even more for us than he did for Abraham? LA Gospel Beats again, I must come back to that and say, look at God, not me. It's not about me, but it's all about Jesus and what Jesus is saying through these airwaves. Now you may say, well, yeah, 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 but still I don't like her or still I don't like him. You might even be saying you don't like me, but that's okay. <laughs> Because Jesus loves me and that's enough. And should we run around and say that this one and that one doesn't like us? No. I beg to differ. We shouldn't. We shouldn't try to down them because they hurt us. When we say, oh, I'm a prayer. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to God on them. Well, why don't you go to God on you like I go to God on me? Saying, Lord, fix me so that way I may know how to address this issue. Even as I am going to the issue, I say, Lord, tell me what to say because I will not allow no one to dishonor you through me because we are representatives of the Most High. You might say, well, Ms. Dini, some people don't believe in Jesus. You know, some people don't. And you may say, well, I don't know how they can't believe in God. You know what? I don't know. The only thing that I do know that Jesus is real and we must do all we can do to reach them. Tell them in love about Jesus. And once we've done that, leave it alone. Don't try to beat somebody up because they won't agree with you and your views. They may not want to agree with it now, but before they leave the earth, or before we leave the earth, we must, we will come to the agreement that God is real. You may say you're battling with unforgiveness in your heart. We spoke about that on LA Gospel Beats through the year. I had Miss Diane Alexander on my show, and you know, um, for those of you who don't know who she is, um, she's the only survivor, the serial killer, Derek Todd Lee. And by her testimony, she spoke for those from who did not survive. She spoke for those. And she spoke also about forgiveness. The only way she could have moved on is through Jesus Christ. Forgiveness. We walk around and say, well, I forgive him, but I never forget. 
Well, you know what? This is what I say. I say this. Because I believe Jesus. He forgives us and he throws it away into the sea. I mean, he throws it. We can't, I mean, he doesn't bring it back up anymore to be remembered. How I know? Because I'm here on LA Gospel Beats. Jesus couldn't use me in the mess that I was in. Again, I can only speak for myself. I had to forgive myself and ask the Lord to forgive me in order to be in this position. Because for those of you who are watching me right now, you might say, well, that's that same woman I used to see stepping up in the willow like she had nobody but herself. Or is it that same woman that was here and there? The physical body may look that way, but no, because I am a new creature in Jesus Christ. And I used to say, yeah, I'm that woman. But then you know what? I was telling a lie because we are new creatures in Jesus Christ. And that's what I want you to know. Stop allowing the devil to beat you up because then you couldn't be where you really need to be in Jesus Christ. If you allow your past to beat you up, we all have one. And that's why when I look back over my life, I could never go back. I will never go back. I ask, and this is a prayer that I pray all the time, Lord, before I see myself going back to the life that I once lived, take me because I want to be with you. And I mean that. You know, most people, they want to go to heaven. They sing of heaven. They sing of heaven. You know, Mary, Mary, I want to go to heaven. I want to go, but nobody want to die. But I want to get there. Will I see my mother? I know she'll be there, but I won't know it's her because the Lord says we'll be changed in a twinkling of an eye. So do we hold on to seeing our, the, her actual face? But I know that her spirit will be there because I believe in the word of Jesus Christ that she's resting in him right now. And that's where I hope to be if I don't go up with the rapture, you know, if the world doesn't come to an end beforehand. So we spoke about that on LA Gospel Beats. When I became the host of LA Gospel Beats, the first guest I had, God bless me, was my pastors, Pastor Alonzo and Ali Frank of Spirit and Truth. That's the Lord. The Lord did it. My pastor happened to be on vacation. One of my pastors that week, God did it because I say, Lord, I would love to have them on. And look what he did. So my journey on L.A. Gospel Beats, hey, it's so much. I can't, I don't know who my next guest will be sometime. God fix it that way. But I'm here to let you know that each time I'm, I'm able to think, I'm asking the Lord to help my mind stay set on you. Because, you know, our mind wants to wonder. I know mine does. You know, I think about things that, I should not be thinking about, then I say, Lord, please, please forgive me. Get these thoughts out of my mind. And that's why I'm able to sit here before you and let you know that God loves you. You know, LA Gospel Beats have brought great love all over because we speak of Jesus, not condemning anyone. The word of God will convict you. I don't need to do that, and no one here does. Remember when um, I was attending Destin Generation Ministries with Pastor Tyrone Davis, an awesome young man who I heard him preach. I think he was 15 years old. He was a guest also on LA Gospel Beats. And you know what, Pastor Tyrone, I love him dearly. You know, he spoke into my life. You know, we can't forget about people who have helped us to get to our next um, level in Christ. We can't do that. And I love him dearly. You know, he's, he spoke greatness. He said, Sister D, I know you have a ministry. And he said, God bless you in it. And I thank him for that. Minister Joseph Burr was also a guest on the show. And uh, he's an awesome, awesome man of God. I've seen him grow. Yes, I have. Th that's where I do my recording. He has given me so much fuel for this race in the music part that nothing should stop me. And that's when... Um, the song was composed that I am persuaded that no matter what comes, I'm going to serve the Lord. It's so many people, not just the old, but the young. We had young Zoe. Well, he's no longer young Zoe. Zoe Frank Perez, that's right. Eyes off me, the movement. A young man on fire for the Lord who has not wavered, not wavered at all. When I think of all the great people that the Lord has allowed me to cross paths with. 
like Ngozi, a woman of God. When I tell you a woman of God, I've, ne I've not met a young lady such as her, and that is met in a great way. She's determined to stay on course with Jesus Christ. You know, it's just so awesome. So many great people have crossed our paths here on LA Gospel Beats. So many. You know, so I just want to say thank you to all of you, for those of you who I named, and for those of you who I didn't name, I'm so sorry, but I want to let you know that you know who you are. And I thank you for being part of LA Gospel Beats. As we go into the new year, not just the new year, but the next second of your life, know that the Lord loves you. There aren't the mountains that you see in your life can be spoken down, broken up into, shattered into pieces just by the name of Jesus. But you must know that you have that authority. You must know if you are in Christ, you know you have it. You know, I, I can't stress it enough that the Lord loves you and he wants to give you so much, but you're not opening your hands. You're just doing this, you know, and understand once you get it, you can't do this. The Lord says release it the way he has released his Holy Ghost into us to flow. So if you meet somebody who says, I don't believe in God, listen to what they have to say. But with an ear of Jesus Christ. Or if you listen to someone who says, oh yeah, I know the Lord is going to heal me. I know, but they say it in a way where you don't even know if they know it or not. You know, let them speak, but pray that they will come to the realization that Jesus will do exactly what he said he will do. But now we have to do our part. You can't expect to name it and claim it if you are not saved and filled with this precious Holy Ghost. You can't expect to say, I'm going to church, and then I'm going to get my little groove on, because then you're straddling. You know, let the Lord, you might say, well, Ms. D, people do it, we do it all the time. Nothing is wrong with that. David danced. But what music, do we know? Were you there when David was dancing? David was dancing to a praise unto God alone, unto God alone. We spoke about that on LA Gospel Beats. Do you really know? Yes, he danced. But he danced with the praises only to God. Only to God. Was there wine for them to drink? You know, what did they drink? Did Jesus drink it? He made it out of water only. No other ingredients. No other ingredients. Again, I'm going to say no other ingredients. He said water. And in that 10% of this and 15% of that, next thing you know, you can't see. I was there. <laughs> I was there. But again, it takes time because I didn't get where I am overnight. I still have. Uh, each day I, I wake up, I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey. I'm asking God to order my steps. Sometimes I do want to go left. I, I'm not going to lie, but then I, I, I count up the costs and say, Lord, all of this was going on right now. People talking about you, talking about me, don't want to talk to us at all. Lying, rolling their eyes at us, don't even want to acknowledge that we are alive. Don't worry about all of that because heaven is our home. You talk about a cross. That's just a tack. You know, it's just the tip of the nail. But Jesus had the whole nail go through his hands for us. We spoke about that on LA Gospel Beats. It's so much that I can say, but I want to let you know that the Lord loves you. He loves you. I have information on the screen. If you want to send me a, an email, go ahead on. I'll pray with you. I'll pray for you. 
A lot of us, we want to get together. Nothing is wrong with gathering to pray. But if the Lord gave us a vision, that means we already prayed for it. Now we must go out and complete that vision. Make it, make it a reality. Don't, and if someone tells you something that the Lord told you to do, and you know it's from God, stop saying, I got to pray about it. When you know it's in yourself, you know that's what the Lord, you was asking the Lord for. How I know? I used to be like that. Well, I got to consult the Lord. The Lord won't come down from heaven to tell us that. We spoke about that on LA Gospel Beats. I know my time is running out, but I just want to let you know that the Lord loves you. He has work for you to do, but are you ready to work for God and God alone? God has given us all a gift. Are we ready to use that for God and God alone? Are you ready to do that? And if you are, then you let the Lord know. And when that does happen, your friends will start being few. The friends you used to have, you will no longer have. The people who used to call you will no longer call you. God will cut them off. And he will place new people in your life. That doesn't mean he wants you to hate those that doesn't want to have anything to do with you because you won't get to heaven that way. But I want you to know over the years with my life, I've been, I go through things. And yes, I cry about it, Jesus and I. And you know, it feels so good to know that he heard me and he answers me. He doesn't wait years. No longer is he waiting because he's soon coming back. So he's answering his children. I heard someone say, our daddy is so good. And that's Jesus Christ, y'all, we're talking about. So whatever you're facing this season, face it with Jesus. Why not give him a chance? All right? Give him a chance. And again, I'm Miss Deanie, for those of you who say, well, who's that girl on there talking like that? You mean Miss Deanie not getting loud? Well, you know, there's a time for everything. But I want to let you know that if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I'm asking that you go to the book of Romans 10 and 9 and, you know, confess the Lord Jesus. Confess God. Believe it in your heart that he raised Jesus from the dead. You shall be saved. You believe it in your heart. Believe it. And again, I want to give a shout out to our camera crew. The awesome job. Y'all like that? I love it. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> Thank you, Kenneth. I love it. Thank you, Miss Sudi. And look, I want you guys to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Remember, I'm on Facebook. Type in Bernadette Stevens. Type in Miss Dini. I'll come up. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Reverb Nation, Bernadette Stevens. Go ahead on and do that. But much love to all of you. I want to say thanks to my family, my husband, Mr. Marshall, you know, um, who's being the husband that God has called him to be. You know, I'm, I'm praying for him that he will accept Jesus totally. My children, my grandchildren. I thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for, for your kids and your grandkids. Don't look at where they are now. Look at them through the eyes of Jesus. And if you say, I'm going to die and they're still going to be doing the same thing, well, you just spoke that upon their lives. But what I want you to do is believe in Jesus Christ. There's an old song that says, Only believe Only believe All things are possible if you only believe believe in God's word believe in God's word cause all things are possible if you believe in God's Word. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. God bless you.
Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 